Non-Reflective Glass Coatings by Ryan Eastman. Glass and its interactions. Few things are seen as to be the most important thing at a certain time. Glass has been it for more than 5,000 years. Creation of windows, chemistry equipment, to lenses, mirrors, or food preservation. The applications of glass are plentiful in my variety. Considering the wave theory of light, glass operates as a clear medium that allows light to pass through with little resistance. Glass contains a very small refractive index when in a planar arrangement, meaning that the angle of the light as it leaves from will not stray far from the angle that it entered in from. The features of glass, being that it's clear, hard, and has a low refractive index, allows for it to be placed in diverse spectrum locations and situations. What are non-reflective coatings? Often when outside, optical tools made of glass will become obsolete as the sun's reflection on it make it virtually impossible to see through. It's not ideal for situations that require a user to look through a piece of glass like eyeglasses, a storefront, or a cell phone screen. Non-reflective coatings are able to be applied through means of a spray or a liquid on a wipe. Glass designed against reflection could be created with the use of acid etching, however. The coating is done by an application of a clear film that observes stray light and keeps them from reflecting back out. How and why they work. Anti-reflective coatings act in a similar manner to polarization. The transverse light wave that is presented to the surface of the glass is fixed to face the same direction. This is done by changing the direction of the oscillation to being perpendicular to the motion of the waves. This action creates a more tightly wound beam that controls the would-be straggling light rays that are perceived as reflection. The light wave that contracts the glass is given a more focused and direct stream, where more is able to pass through it, and limits the extrasensual. The lack of reflection off of the glass is seemingly an unforeseen benefit as the transmission rate of the light in the glass increases when this coating is applied. Uh, as you can see here in this bottom left picture, there is a 100% transmission on the uh, left untreated glass and a 91% transmission with 8% reflection lost to reflection and a 1% absorbance that was absorbed by the glass. When compared to a uh, non-reflective coating applied to this piece of glass, this treatment increases the uh, transmission rate by at least 7%, considering that the reflection rate is now as down from 4% to about 0.5%. Looking forward, anti-reflective coatings are seen primarily as a tool to reduce the reflection off of glass item as per the name, but this is a slightly misleading, however, as there's far more applications in civil cosmetics. Transmission rate on the glass increases greatly when compared to that of glass without a non-reflective coating. The possible number of light rays that are sent through the glass and that make it out the other side will be beneficial in situations where light absorption quantities matter, such as solar panels. Solar panels operate solely off of the ability to absorb light, and simply maximizing the amount of light that could pass through the glass on the surface would increase the efficiency exponentially. And references. Thank you.